I just met with my electrician who came to fix the problem with my car, the electrical problem. And I wanted to share to you a very important lesson that I learned today and why you shouldn't be just listening to any random suggestions from your mechanic or your friends who um, think that they know what they're doing. So whenever they suggest that you should be making this modification or changes to your car, um, you shouldn't listen. So do not ever do any um, shortcut fix or any you know unconventional fix or modificational fix to your car this um, aside from really fixing the original settings from uh, your car so I'm gonna show you um, why So the problem, I'm gonna tell you the, the whole story or sequence why and what's going on, why I've been experiencing all this problem. So it all started when I have to replace my radiator and um, I'm experiencing a high temperature for my car and I got a suggestion that I should connect my condenser fan to my radiator fan so that I will have both fan working to cool the engine which is true enough when I did that it did cool my engine but there were several problems with that idea so the reason why that's a bad idea is because I connected my condenser fan to the radiator that will overload the line from my radiator and then that will like um, damage the relay or the fuse so that's one problem so that could be okay if I would be making a different line or you know its own line directly to the battery but then again that will be a whole different story because of the switching but if I want to switch it here to the radiator then it will still overload the line so that one simple suggestion that it could help to cool my engine because of the radiator problem if I listen to that which I did but you know again it led to the whole lot of problem with my car so good thing that my mechanic found out that um, good thing that uh, my mechanic found out that um, fix I did so he told me not to do that and he um, fixed it like um, restored the original wirings and connected to the original wirings so yeah good thing he found that out before that problem happened so that's number one the second thing is um, yeah the other mechanics when fixing your car um, they will be removing the what do you call this this um, switch or this is a, like a thermo switch what does that do is it will turn on when Hold on, let me face the camera here. It's not working. Okay, look at me. Great. So yeah, what does that do is it will only turn on your radiator when your engine is already hot. And that will make sure that your engine is always at the operating temperature. So the other mechanics will, will tell you to, to remove that one so that your radiator fan will always um, turn on 
so if your engine is cool because again if you're, you're having um, a temperature problem from your car so that's the kind of shortcut fix they will do which you know you should always think that the the car manufacturer did that design for a purpose and that purpose is to make sure that your engine is always at the temperature operating temperature because if it's not then you'll be running cold or they they say something about your 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 running lean that when your engine is cold your ecu will will put more fuel to your system your engines to make it hot to reach that um, operating temperature so not only you will burn more fuel which is you know consume your fuel but your engine is not performing at the optimum le level which is you know decreasing your performance or engine performance so that's that's a problem right there right now yeah so because of that um, they because they they remove that one um, the problem is here's here's what I found um, here's what happened to me let me show you so because of that reason I mentioned to you that I'm not running at operate operating temperature so when I found that out, I connected that back again. So now my radiator is dependent on the temperature of my engine. But I noticed that my condenser fan is also slow. And before that, when that was disconnected, this was like working um, fast, like it's turning fast, right? Now, um, when I found that out, there were several um, results like my air conditioning is not that cold compared to when my condenser fan was, was um, working fast. So my mechanic told me that, yeah, that was one of the reasons was because my condenser fan was, was slow. That's why I'm not my air can is not that cold anymore that's one factor so let me know in the comments below if you think that's true that you know because of the condenser fan speed it's not cooling the condenser that's why my air can is not that cold like it was before when it was fast right so yeah going back because of that I was told that that's the reason why it's not cold so and before it was working fast and now it's not so I was told that the, the fan is defective and what I did guess what I bought a new fan and when I installed that fan it's still slow and I thought that the new fan I bought which is a used one not a brand new I thought it's, it's defective so it made me think I have to make sure so I tested the fan directly connected to the battery and it was hella fast so I tested also my old fan my existing fan connected to directly to the battery and it was hella fast so meaning my fans were not effective so that's that confused me right so it means there was a problem when it's connected directly to the battery it's fast but when it's not connected directly to the battery, it's slow. And that's weird. I don't know what's wrong. So I'm getting these um, lots of suggestions again from my friends, from my mechanic. Um, I was told that check the voltage. And I checked the voltage. And surprisingly, the voltage is normal it's the same voltage directly from the battery which again when you direct the, the fan to the battery it's, it's fast and i was told that you know you have to check the the voltage when the fan is, is working when it's turned on I haven't done that and also another reason was it could be that your wires or lines are old and then the quality yeah the wires are old so it's it's not getting um, the right 
ampers or amperage like the, the tester wire used. So if you're experiencing a low ampers, then yeah, it could be the reason why, um, what do you call it? It could be the reason why it's, it's low, right? It could be the reason why it's low. So, um, that's, 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 um, some, you know, valid points out there why it's slow. But then again, um, what do you call this? Those were not the reason, right? So, I'm lucky that my electrician, trusted electrician, was really that good and when he tested it I told him the problem when he tested it um, he found out that it's the normal settings from my car that when the engine is cold the condenser fan turns slowly but when it's hot then it turns faster to help the radiator fan cool the engine and not all um, electrician or mechanics know that um, that's why mechanics should read the manual before fixing but yeah not all knows that and if it was like some random electrician that doesn't know the proper settings to the car or all that, what could have what could have they done is they will be directing that um, lines, so they will direct the, the fan to I don't know whatever they will direct the fan so it will turn on faster. And that's um, a lot of suggestion also I'm getting that to, to add a relay to, to the fan to make it yeah, turn faster to add more amperage to the line and which is there's another way to do that without adding a relay at the terminal but just you know improve the settings at the main relay for the fan so yeah there you go um, like what other mechanics did is they will remove the thermostat um, switching for the fan to turn on the fan real time because you get to cool the engine which they should have done is to really fix the issue why you're not getting the right cooling to your car not make any other fixes that's not even the problem in the first place so yeah, I'm getting a lot of suggestions, do this, do that, and with my little knowledge, but current experience with the car, then um, yeah, it made me say that that's not the problem before, so I don't think I should be fixing that, we should be fixing the source. So um, one example is when I, wait, I have an idle issue, which you can see in my um, other video. We clean the throttle body in the IACV and then when we put it back together I'm still experiencing an idle issue and stole the ECU how to relearn and all that but I've been getting suggestions that oh you should like adjust the idle stopper the idle screw or adjust the IACV that you know that, um, connects or deal something with the idle itself and um, which is very very you should be careful because touching those stuff uh, which is set by the manufacturer could be re really pain the ass to, to find the right settings if you touch those ones like and you will fuck up the settings so I told them that hey all the suggestions are right they're good but we didn't touch those stuff we didn't adjust those we didn't touch those those weren't damaged or you know broken and I only removed the throttle button and cleaned it so I shouldn't be touching those stuff we should be focusing on the other causes which is 
the ECU. It could be the ECU. So we reset the ECU, suggested from my friend. That was a good suggestion because it fixed the issue. So if I listened to them by just like adjusting the IACV idle settings, then we could be having a problem, if you know what I mean. So yeah, just be careful not to um, listen to those suggestions. Um, make sure that you stick to your car's manufacturer settings. Make sure that you do not modify your car's original settings if you do not know what you're doing. So if ever you'll be changing, then make sure that you know what you're doing or make sure that you'll be changing in the entire system, not just part of that. And then it's still connected to the original settings, which could fuck up um, that current system. So yeah, um, just like to share that one to you guys. And I'm very thankful to my trusted electrician that he found out the issue. It wasn't broken at all, and I thought it's broken. Um, I'm really worried that you know, not getting that right um, fan speed. But yeah, it's not an issue at all. It wasn't broken. Good thing you knew that because if that was any other technician, then they'd fix that shit, which is not broken, and that will. Um, fuck up my car so yeah uh, let me know in your uh, in the comments below what similar experience you have with your shit boxes just like my shit box here is causing me a lot of problems this month let me know and yeah I'd love to, to hear your stories as well similar to this that you know your mechanic or your friend gave you a wrong advice and fuck it up or what random chain reaction of the one wrong advice and connect connected to the rest of the problem or you know a lot of problems to your car so yeah um thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and share you know if you find this helpful tag someone if you think someone would benefit all right thank you again and Great day. Yeah.